Yeah, so welcome my viewers. Uh, today we are also going to cover this top question on further logarithms. That is logarithm in form 3. Logarithm, further logarithms in form 3. And we are going to check this question. Uh, step number one is to check whether this question follows the three rules of logarithms. Follows the three rules of logarithm. And again, we'll also check the base. The base to which this question is given. Now, so let's go straight to the question of today. Now, the question provided here, you are given the log of x to base 2 into bracket squared plus log x cubed to base 2 is equals to 10. You are told, solve this equation to get the value of x. The value of x. So this is a question that most of students make a lot of mistakes when they're answering this one. Because the examiner is testing this. This is where the examiner wants to know whether the student understands this question. Now, remember the rules of logarithm. The rules of logarithm. We have the log of x power n to the base of a. When we have this log of x to log or x power n base a, the third rule of logarithm says that this power, you bring it here, drop it there, you get n log of x to the base of a. Log of x base a. But the examiner has not given the log of x squared base 2. He has given log of x to the base of 2 squared. Everything is squared. So you cannot apply this law of logarithm. You cannot apply that law of logarithm. But in the second one, you apply the law of logarithm. Because this is log x cubed base 2. So you can drop this one three there. Now you apply this law. So therefore you have something that looks like this. An equation log of x to base 2 squared plus 3 log of x to base 2 is equal to 10. Now this one you have applied this law. The third row of logarithms. The third row of logarithm. So therefore, uh, the next step, you check the log of x to base 2. Now log x to base 2 is common. This is common. Log of x base 2, log of x base 2. You say, red log of x to the base of 2, give it a letter like k. Give it a letter like k. Give it a letter like k. So you say k, this would be k squared, plus now 3k, because now the whole of this one is k, is equal to 10. Is equal to 10. So therefore, you are supposed now to uh, write like that. This forms a quadratic equation. This forms quadratic equation. And we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization. Bring this one on this. We can use factorization. K squared plus 3K minus 10 equals 0. Now, remember the general uh, uh, equation of a quadratic equation is always given as X squared plus BX plus C equals to 0. So in our case, our A, the coefficient of K squared is 1. So A is 1. B is 3. And C is minus 10. C is minus 10. C is minus 10. So, I want us to use the, the sum and product method. Sum and product method. Where you say the product of AC. The product of AC. 1 times minus 10. That's minus 10. That's minus 10. And the sum equals B, which is equals to 3. So, this is the method that I want us to use. You get two numbers that are when you multiply them, you get negative 10. And when you add them, you get 3. Those are factors of 10. So therefore, this one will be, you'll get minus 2, 5. Those are the two numbers. Minus 2, 5. Minus 2 times 5, you get minus 10. Minus 2 plus 5, you get 3. So those are the two numbers that you apply. So instead of writing this plus 3k, you go back to equation and write, you write k squared uh, minus 2k plus 5k minus 10 is equal to 0. It's equal to 0. That's what you do. It's equal to 0. Therefore, 
for Christ. Love for Christ. You are using this app from two concepts that you are now using. So get k is common. k minus 2. Plus 5. 5 is common. You get k minus 2 is equal to 0. Is equal to 0. So therefore, so what do you do? Uh, now check common factors. k plus 5. And now k minus 2, now k minus 2. So you take k plus 5, k plus 5, now k minus 2 is equal to 0. k plus 5, now k minus 2 equals to 0. k plus 5, now k minus 2 equals to 0. So therefore, take this one equal to 0. k plus 5 equals to 0, or k minus 2 equals to 0. Because they are factors. When factors are equated to 0, you are supposed to these factors, you are supposed to equate them to 0 to form equation. k plus 5 equals to 0, or k minus 2 equals to 0. So therefore, bring this on this side. You want to get the value of k. The value of k is 5, or take k on this side. 2 on that side, you get k is 2. The value of k is 2. But the examiner is telling us to solve the value of x. In our case, we introduced k. Because log x to base 2 is k. We introduced that. So therefore, you go back to that step and say, you are a mathematician. This is how to solve. You go back and say the log of x to the base of 2 is equal to k, where k is minus 5. Or log of x to the base of 2 is equal to 2. Because we said it equals to k. So in this case, you get two values of k. You have the two values of k, so you get two values of x. So therefore, remember how to change uh, from logarithm, logarithmic equation to index notation. Power form. Log of x base 2 equals negative 5. So in index form, you say 2 to the power negative 5 is equals to x. And what is 2 to the power negative 5? That means x is equal to 1 all over 2 to the power 5. You find the reciprocal. You find the reciprocal to change this from negative. 1 all over 2 to the power 5. And what is 2 to the power 5? 32. So therefore, our x is equal to 1 over 32. That's the value of x. Or, remember you had another point for x. Log x to be 2 equals 2. So in index form, 2 power 2 equals x. So our x is equal to 4. 2 to the power 2 equals x. So x is 4. So in our case, you can just circle this like that. The value of x, the value of x is 4. And in this case, the value of x is 1 over 32. And that is how to solve a logarithm uh, equation. So therefore, you are supposed to identify if this question follows the rules of logarithm. Two, you check the base. The base. This is to the base of two. So how do you work out to the base two? Then you, from there, you have the knowledge of uh, quadratics in form two. How to factorize? We have used that, quadratics form two. You have factorized. Then you have solved the equation. And that is how to solve a question on uh, further logarithm. So thank you very much.